Hi, Maddie. Welcome to Snap Math. Thank you for sending in your algebra question tonight. So we're supposed to multiply these two um, polynomial fractions together. But the first thing that I want to do is actually factor each one of these, the numerator and den denominator of each expression. So to factor the first one, it's, this is a difference of cubes. So it's going to be the cubed root minus the other cube root, x, and the cube root of 64 is 4. And then it's just going to be the cube root squared times, or actually plus, the cube roots added or multiplied together. So it would be 4 is the cube root of this, and then x is the cube root of that, so x, and then plus the cube root of this squared, the cube root is 4, and then we square that is 16. Or if we look at this, we say we square the first one, multiply the two together, and then square the last one is what it factors into. So that's the top of the first part. And this is the same thing. We take the cubed root, which is 2x, of that plus 1 and then we're going to say square the first term which is 4 x squared and you're actually going to be minus the two terms together 2x and then finally the last term add the last term squared 1 times 1 is 1 and then to factor the top here this is a difference of squares, so you do the square root, I'm sorry, not 4, 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. And then finally, we can't factor the bottom here, so it's going to be 2x plus 4x plus 16. So if you multiply these all together, these actually just go like this. We can make this all into one fraction. And then from here, we can actually cancel stuff on the top. So this cancels out with that. And this cancels out with this. So what we finally get is going to be x minus 4, 2x minus 1. over 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. And you could FOIL this out and finally get an answer that way, but we're just going to leave it the same because there's not going to be anything else helpful in canceling this out. So this is our final answer once we multiply these two things together. All right, Maddie, thank you for sending in your question tonight to SnapMath. We look forward to answering your